Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. Um, today I'm showing you how to install Cacti version 1.5. Um, uh, I'm doing it from source code because the sudo apt-get method normally gets you uh, version 0 0.8. Uh, it's typically a bit older in the repositories. I did a quick video earlier today about 1.6. 1.6 is on the GitHub page, but I find it very buggy. Um, but 1.5, uh, which is the latest uh, the latest download on the cacti.net site uh, under stable, is uh, much better. Um, so I am showing you how to do it with that instead. Um, that way, you know, I don't want to have someone follow my instructions and they end up with a buggy install. So I'm again with a uh, Ubuntu 16.04 server, fresh install. Um, so the first thing we need is a LAMP stack. So I will do task cell, take a shortcut. Okay, go down and find lamp I think I passed it there it is oh what the hold on okay select lamp and it will go ahead and install the basics And while this is installing, in tandem, what I already have done is downloaded and extracted uh, the cacti 1.1.5.zip. So what I'll do is I'll just SCP it over. To my server here. And I'm just, just waiting for this to complete. Okay, so this is 192, 168, 1.109. Oh. Okay, hold on. 109. Sean. Okay, so I'm just moving the files over you can also uh just w get for the zip file and then extract it or do however you want i just so happen to have it on the on the drive so all right so however way you got it you'll end up with a cacti folder um so the first thing i will be doing is you're going to move the cacti folder over to the web directory. Okay, so now that the cacti uh, install files are over at the web directory, let's head over there. There will be a file called config.php. Oh, sorry. It's in the include um, subdirectory, and it's config.php. And so what we're going to do is edit this file. OK, 
okay, with our database um, that we're going to create. I'm just going to be calling it cacti with the password of cacti for now, but um, I strongly suggest you choose a, you know, a more secure password, of course. Now go to the MySQL server and we're going to go and uh, create a database. Okay. Oh, just give me one quick sec. All right, next thing we're going to do is create a user. So we're going to uh, create a user called cacti and with the password of cacti. Okay. And I'll leave all these commands in the uh, description below. Next, we're going to flush the privileges. And exit. Okay, so next we'll have to download some PHP uh, modules and some uh, some other um, dependencies. So the first thing we'll need is SNMP. Uh, we're going to need PHP dash GD, PHP LDAP, PHP XML. And then we'll need the RRD tool. Okay. So we'll have to download all the dependencies. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and done all that, we will next, I forgot the server IP, so 109. So we can surf now to 192.168.1.109 slash cacti. Oh, hold on. Since we downloaded the new uh, PHP modules, we'll have to do that. And I also forgot um, that we have to import the database structure from Cacti. Okay. So there is a SQL uh, .sql file. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, and we have to import this file. So the cacti.sql. Um, you'll know this too if you go about.php. Um, I don't know why they didn't make it pop up uh, when the directory structure isn't like that or uh, isn't created yet, but they didn't. So if you go slash about, the command is right there as to what to run. Um, all you got to do, if you're already in the cacti directory, just remove slash path to cacti and import the cacti uh, database structure. And then 109 slash cacti. And now the setup wizard comes up. So we're going to accept, hit next. And we, oh. There's one more Apache uh, module I forgot. So, so app-get install php dash and b string. sudo service Apache 2 
restart. Oh, wow. I have not been on my spelling game today. Okay, so restart, refresh the page, and now we have all of the um, all of the required PHP modules. Okay, so the Cacti database account. So what we got to do here is we have to allow um, access to um, to the um, my my SQL database user um, for the time zone. Um, I will. I ran into this problem, couldn't figure it out right away, and this this was a perfect uh, post. I'll send. Uh, I'll include the command in the description. What we'll have to do is go back to the MySQL server. There is another step we have to do and move over to the slash user slash share because this is going to happen. You're going to receive another error as soon as you refresh. Okay. And that the time zone has not populated. Okay. So for that, um, right on the uh, GitHub page. Um, no, actually, sorry. On the um uh right on the cacti page there's uh there's a command to run here again another another thing that wasn't really 100 percent apparent right away but um, i found it so i will put that in the description as well okay you do receive some errors here uh at least i do but um once you refresh the page uh, for the install, everything uh, everything works. And from what I could tell, my time zone and everything is correct. <clears throat> so when you go down here, you'll notice that uh, there's some recommended uh, MySQL system variables and stuff like that. You can uh, tune this later. It doesn't have to be right now. So hit next. Um, it'll ask you what you're doing. So this is a new primary server. Hit next. Okay. So the only thing I don't have here is Spine. And that's because I'm not using Spine. I'm just using the built-on Polar. If you have a bigger organization or a server with, you know, maybe 100 devices or 200 devices or something, uh, you may want to use Spine. It's more robust Polar. So then hit next. All right. So, um, I'm going to make some uh, permissions changes. So the first thing uh, I, I do is I want the www um, data user, which is the Apache user to, um, to own the directory. Oh, oopsies. What did I do here? Ah, again, spelling. Sorry, guys. Bit off my game today. So, I, uh, First of all, make the user own that directory. Then the next thing is you're going to add chmod 755 to a folder in the cacti directory called RRA. That's where the um, the graphs are located. Okay, and that's where the polar needs permissions to create files. So now that we've added that, we can go back to the installer, just previous and next, and everything is now writable. Hit next. And here are the templates. So click on the templates that you want to include. 
Okay, and then there's other ones that you can. Um, there's other ones that you can use, uh, you know, or import later. Okay, so now uh, logging in, the default username and password is admin admin. Okay, so the login page or the login requirements is a bit more stringent now. Um, than it was before. So, um, for instance, if I do admin, and I used to be able to do admin, admin, and it would just allow it through, but now they've put some um, verification in there and uh, saying, um, you know, you need a stronger password, uh, capital letter, lowercase, special character, um, you know, and then, of course, follow, you know, proper password procedures. Normally it's eight characters uh, with a number, uppercase, lowercase, and a special character. Okay, and here we are. This is um, this is the install of uh, Cacti version 1.5. So for verification, uh, what you can do is go to the Cacti directory And run php polar dot php. Okay. If you receive this, the these top errors, it normally indicates some sort of uh, permissions issue at the RRA directory. So let's see what happened here. So I just uh, added permission 755 again. Let's see. I'm not receiving an error now. And if you notice, this showed down before, and now it just pops up like almost immediately and says uh, up, which is an indication that the polar is able to do its job. And then you can go ahead and create graphs as normal. So I hope this helps, uh, helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can always email me, sean at seanmancini.com. And of course, visit me on my website, seanmancini.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.